In the volatile world of cryptocurrencies, stablecoins are a type of digital currency that's supposed to be, well, stable. The current total market capitalization of the stablecoin sector sits at over $133 billion. Stablecoins are one of the products that have probably scaled the best and have the most product market fit in the crypto ecosystem. Columbia Business School adjunct professor Jesse Austin Campbell used to manage over $22 billion of stablecoin reserves at Paxos. He explains three things you need to know about stablecoins. A stablecoin is any token that attempts to maintain a one-to-one -one peg to some unit of fiat currency. The most common form of those are fiat-backed stablecoins, which hold that peg by having an off-chain pool of real-world financial assets. And those are used with some sort of exchange mechanism to maintain the peg at you know, one dollar, one euro, whatever currency we're facing. There are other kinds of stable coins. We have crypto backed, we have algorithmic, but far and away the most common is fiat backed stable coins. In any system, when you pay for things, typically you pay for things with what people generally accept as money. We don't use the barter system. I don't go to a deli and offer them some sort of work product from myself in order to get a sandwich from them. I just pay them with money. You know, when you're thinking about large scale exchange, when I buy bonds, when I buy stocks, I don't pay for them by trading them other stocks or bonds. I give them typically dollars. And so one of the key things about a stable coin is by being the representation of fiat currency on a blockchain, it's the central point of exchange in payments for people. The other important point on that front is that it's often a way for people who have a hard time getting dollars, especially in a non-confiscatable way through their local systems to get their hands on dollars. So if you were to live in another country, say, you know, Thailand, India, Zimbabwe, just pick a random country that's not the US, it may be the case that the stable coin is the easiest way for you to get out of your local currency and into whatever fiat currency the stable coin is in. U.S. regulators have taken an increasingly aggressive stance towards them as to whether they're permissible and whether they're securities. So there are Wells notices and at least one stablecoin issuer from the SEC alleging it might be a security. And some of the banking regulators are increasingly saying things like stablecoins on public blockchains may not be permissible at all. So the onshore regulatory challenges currently are very real. And as a result, Largely U.S. dollar stablecoins are expanding offshore, not onshore in the current environment.